me see if I can open up my live stream on my computer. Let's play some franchise mode. Let's get it. Some contracts to take care of. Main. Am I not streaming? Channel page. Hey, I got a watcher. Let's go. How's it going, man? Oh, it could be me. I just signed it on my computer. How's it going, though? Hope everything's going well. Hope you're having a good time. Just playing some GM mode. I don't have a camera on right now. But that's okay. If I can figure out how to get it on, I will. Um, how do I fix this? My channel. Alrighty. Let's, uh... Broadcast options, GM mode, search for court category, NHL 21. Sports game, simulation. Done. There we go. Uh, alrighty, so let's describe what we're doing here. I don't have camera simply because I stream from my PS5 and I don't have a camera hooked up to it, but that's okay. Um, I can't even see the chat though. That's the annoying part. That's the part that sucks with the with this. So maybe what I'll do is I'll go onto my Twitch channel. I'll follow along with the chat. I'll follow along with the chat on my computer while playing on my console. Let's go to my channel, and I'll follow along, see what's going on in the chat. I got my one viewer, happy to happy to have you along for the ride. So let's let's go with this GM mode. Okay, so we're looking at the contracts. There's, we've got a bit of a delay between what I'm doing and what I see on the stream. But that's okay. Uh, so we're gonna resign Ryan Getzlav. That's easy to easy to say. I say we give him like six, six, seven, five. He's been with us for years. Let's let him finish his career with us. Bobby Ryan does not want to resign. He had a good year though. So let's see if we can bring him back. Um, Josh Mahara, obviously we want to bring back. Cheap contract. I like it. Let's give him. Uh, yeah, I'll lock him up long term. For that cheap, gladly. Two point eight five. I usually like the even numbers, but two point eight five is fine. Oh wow, okay. The game's not saying this guy's gonna grow. Let's just lock him up long term, see what happens. I don't know if this actually ruins their development, because I've seen players just stop growing because they have such a low contract, the game just doesn't want them to grow. Um, I don't know if that has an effect on it, but we'll find out. Uh, we'll bring back Walensky. Let's see if we can bring everyone back. Carrot can go, Lindholm can go. DeLeo can stay, he's high bottom, mm, no, he can go as well, Benoit can go, just getting rid of some of these dead, dead contracts that, uh, like, these players aren't going to grow, like, they're not going to be able to turn into anything, defensive defenseman Nickel could, because I think he has the, he has the, uh, 
chemistry. Like he has the the line combo. You know, the, the line combo means everything in this game. Honestly, it means absolutely everything in this game. This guy, this guy play a lot where he plays. Plays in the U.S. Gets how much ice time per game? Oh yeah. All right, I'll leave him there for another year. Cornwaye, offensive defenseman. I'm gonna sign him. He's overaged. I want him to grow. Weisblatt, sniper. He's gonna keep growing. Gay, Patrick Gay, Patrick Gay. I think he's French. He's from the Q. I'll leave him in the minors for now. I think. Plus sniper. Uh, no. I should probably sign him. I want him to grow. Mm. Anyone else that needs to to get more ice time to grow? Like these low top six guys. If you don't, if you don't grow them right away. They're never gonna make it. They're never gonna make it for you. This guy, I want him. I want him playing. I want him getting the ice time I want. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stack the AHL team around those guys. Make it so they all grow. That's that's the goal. Honestly, that's the that's the honest goal that I have in mind here. Um, so what I I'd already started this this series. Uh, a few weeks ago before exams and then I stopped because of exams obviously I, I needed to study but um, what this series is is I go from for each team I go and try to win them a cup as soon as possible and then at the end of that cup run whoever was my best player whoever was my MVP I go and I boost them that way when I play the next one they're boosted and so then that player will no matter what be their best player on their team again like it was for me and um, so, like for example, I did a, uh, I did a, uh, a series with, um, with an expansion team. I did the, I, I, <laughs> the Guelph Gladiators just for fun. Um, and my MVP ended up being Sunny Milano. You know, he put up 31 points in our last playoff rush, where we won the cup. So I was like, you know what? He put us over the top. I had him in the minors for a while. I finally called him up, and he, he got us the win, man. 31 points in 20 uh, something games. It's that's pretty darn good, especially in the playoffs. So I figured he earned it. And, uh, yeah. Well, this guy's got to play in the minors. Mm, no, I'd rather him be a starter somewhere else. Let's just leave that for now. This team's looking pretty darn good. If I can get everyone to accept, that'd be amazing. I don't care about the, the scouting, per se, in this series for the simple reason is that I'm not planning to be on a team long term. So it doesn't really matter. You know, and so yeah. So if you look at Sonny Milano, I did not make him high elite. Don't worry, I did not boost him that high. That's just because he's 26 and the game wants him to grow a little bit more. So I gave him high elite for his last year, but he's probably gonna turn 27 before that comes true. He was high top six for the series. So let's go to free agency. Let's see what's happening. I think I got everyone resigned, so it's perfect. I can kind of just have a reset. I don't really remember where the team's at in this series so I'm gonna have a nice little reset at the beginning of the year the team did miss the playoffs last year very disappointing uh, ooh Morgan Riley fits I might sign him Barkov I made Barkov a power forward in this because they always have him as a two-way and we're being if we're all being honest with EA and their player types they make everyone they're not sure of a two-way forward and it pisses me off it drives me absolutely insane Everyone, they're like, ah, he could be this, he could be that. Ah, let's make him a two-way. I'd like to sign Barkov. He fits on the first line. He's power forward. He's good. But uh, $13 million when you only have six free, that's kind of rough. Uh, so let's sort by overall. See if there's any steals. See, okay. Is he a two-way forward? Why? Why is Philip Forsberg a two-way forward? Why? Oh, my gosh. This is awful. EA Sports, bro. I love you, but I also hate you at the same time. It's a love-hate. Love-hate relationship. Mika Zibanejad. I want to bring him in, I think. Mm. I don't know. It isn't. Is McAvoy a UFA? No. Okay, that's what I thought. About. Andre Kasha. Bring him back. Ooh. Yeah, why not? Six million bucks is a little steep, though. But he's our big free agent signing. Let's go for it. Six and a half million right there per year. All right, let's see if we've got any prospects in here. Let's bring in Markinen. Let's bring in. Uh, I always bring in Zach Sanation. I feel like I always have him in a series. Let's bring in Nicolas Roy from Vegas. Is he an RFA? No, 
he's not. Two years. Let's give him one year at one point. 1.1. I don't think that should interfere with my other signings, so that should be fine. Dimitro Timoshov. I want to go by two-way because I want to get prospects here. Howden. See, Howden would be a good shout. Let's go one-way. Three-year deal worth 1.1. You're welcome. They're gonna they're gonna match that. Um, ooh, this is interesting. Seal. Oh, he's a two-way. No thanks. Um, no, no real prospects right now. So let's just move on. Nothing, uh, nothing to see here. Uh, there's no one I really like. I like. I want to wait till the beginning of the year to assess my team. It sucks you can't look at chemistry properly and stuff before uh, the off season, like before the uh, preseason and stuff. But I, I can't like you. You can't look at the chemistry and how it works. I got both. I got the two guys I want. Network error. On my computer. Am I still streaming? I think I'm still streaming. Oh man. Uh, let's hope we can get some people on in the in the chat here. Uh, feel free to send some chats whenever you join. Happy to have you. Happy to have you commentate. If if there's something I'm doing you're not liking, let me know, please. I'm happy. I'm always happy to accommodate. Always happy to accommodate. Jaden Schwartz, first liner. Yeah, they get a plus three. Kasha should not be on the first line. Gets left there. That's a plus three. Jones, Comtois. Gets left is falling off hard, man. Comtois can be on the first line. Ooh, plus five. How do you not, right? Oh. EA, you pissed me off. Like, I don't understand this game. It's like, yeah, it's a plus five. Eh, actually, no, it's not. Like, just tell me if it's a plus five or not. I don't want this baloney. Oh, second line, bro. Second line. How am I not close to a plus five there? Milano, does he fit? Oh, that's why the playmakers don't fit very well. How is that not a, at least a... Oh, okay, that's why, because Bobby Ryan's there. Hmm. I'm liking these lineups so far, though. I really want Comtois on a higher line. And I want Max Jones on a higher line. This is perfect so far. Milano, can you play center? No, no, no. Okay, Bobby Ryan with Getzlav and Silverberg for now. Let's just see. Silverberg's a first liner. Ah, there we go. We got it. And it works with Getzlav too. I want to keep Getzlav going. At least for the early part. Well, then again, I want to get Contour going. I tried this at the beginning of the last... I remember this, actually. I tried this the last time, and we missed the playoffs because Contour was not cutting it. He was just not cutting it as a center. 72 faceoffs, so I think he's grown a little bit since last time. So that's fine. Is Jones better on the third line than Getzlav? No, they're just not good on the third line. Schwartz is not ideal on that third line, if we're being honest. Bobby Ryan's fine. I might move on from Schwartz, try to get a better player. Troy Terry's really good on the third line, isn't he? He's real good anywhere, actually. Mm. How's Heinen looking? Ooh. Nicolas Hua is really good. That line is... You know that line's close to a plus five. You know that line's close to a plus five. It's just someone else than Sam Steele, and you get a plus five there. Easy. I guarantee it. Oh, man, that's close. I don't like the idea of having Cash on the, on the third line, though. That's the thing. I want Cash on that second line. If I can get someone... I don't want to replace Sam Steele, though. I like Sam Steele. Um, Gatslav, Stan, Schwartz. 
we can go This is the tricky part. Wait, what? Jacob Perot is this good? He put up 94 points. Oh my. In the OHL last year. Oh my. Oh my. Jacob Perot, bro. We need this guy on the lineup. Let me see if I can find a way to... Okay, Sonny Milano fits that so well. So does Silver... Oh, man. Well, you need Perot in. There's, you, there's no denying Perot deserves to be in the lineup over Bobby Ryan. Bobby Ryan can go. I re-signed him, but it's just like I feel like I'm delaying the inevitable. Barry Boulet fits the first line beautifully. I don't understand how that's not a plus five, though. Because if you think about it, full, full, it's just full. There is no reason that's not a plus five. There's, like, I'm beyond confused by EA. Bro. There is no reason that's not a plus five. I'm sorry, that's stupid. Alright. Barry Boulet can play second line with Perot and Jones. Terry can play the fourth line with Getzlav and Heinen. Okay. And liking this lineup. I'm liking the diversity in the lineup here. Alrighty. I'm liking that. I like that I like that forward core. I like that. Um alright, Josh Manson fits really well in that second pairing with Romanov. They get that plus five. I like <laughs> I would like the idea that Romanov could grow in this game and really do well. Um but he's just not growing. I don't understand why. I, re I really don't. Um, yeah, it's just tough, man. Uh, Jacob Larson, he fits well with Josh Mahura. They both fit well in that third pair. Cam Fowler and, and Hambus Lindholm are fine. Uh, who's scratched? Schwartz and Bobby Ryan, they're both, they're both out of here. They got replaced by prospects. It's just, yeah. <sighs> Such is life, man. In the NHL, such is life. Damn. Antoine Moran. Or Isaac Lundestrom. Let me give it to Lundestrom because I gave him that huge contract. Eight years, two million. I should probably call him up and get him some ice time in the NHL, but not yet. I'm going to wait a year. I want him to dominate this league. All right, Deloria can be sent down to that line. Lee Martinuk, you got to kill it this year, my guy. That's crazy how I have a plus three here. Agazino can play anywhere. Kindop can play anywhere. Williams, preferably the third line. Dano can be traded. He's not on my NHL team anymore. At least he can be moved up. Braden Tracy, first liner, every time. Uh, Derek Grant, can you play anywhere else? Oh, he can play everywhere. Okay, I love, I love that. I love having players that can play anywhere. Honestly. Oh yeah, you can play on the fourth line. Gru, can you play center? You can. Right, get him out of here. We don't need that guy. Uh, Gay, Patrick. Yeah, there we go. Let's get him back in there. Kindop, I like, I like you, but we have other players. Ron Wood, mainly. Uh, if we get Delorie out of there, Petrov. That job works. That's an interesting choice I'm making, but what if I do this? No, 
I'd rather get the plus two on both lines. Petrov, can you shoot better than him? For now, yes. Oh, okay. Because I don't like the idea of having Josh Williams on the fourth line. Ron Wood, though, he can stay on that fourth line for now. He'll earn the ice time when he's ready. But this is a good team. The AHL, oh, Walensky fits nothing. Dreamy Drysdale needs to grow. He fits that first pairing beautifully. Matthew Hill gets on that plus five. Drew is a third pairing guy. Axel Anderson can stay there for now. Cornway, offensive defenseman, can go here with Anderson. Walensky for nickel. Yeah. Walensky for nickel. Let's put Cornway down there. Oh! That's so risky, though. Axel Anderson's not going to grow if I do that. And Drew is just going to chill, but... And how do you not? How's that not a plus anything? Okay, I'm going to check on the AHL team like a month in, but... So I'm going to keep Walensky around, but uh, Delorier and Dano can go. Goaltending-wise, we have Dostal and Stolarz. Dolarz can go. Let's get Markinen in there. Let's get a prospect going. AHL, NHL. All right, let's do these power plays real quick. I want the team to do as well as possible, so... I'm going to uh, just... Focus on overalls more than anything else. Um, I hate to say it, but uh, he gets that power play line to get be better. So he's... Lundestrom gets it. Yeah, that's good. That's a good first line. Gay. I'm sorry. I don't want to prioritize him over, like, wood. Let's, let's see how wood fits. He fits all right. Let's put wood on that side. Let's see how any left wingers fit. We don't have Martinuk in yet. We should have Martinuk in there. That's too bad. Uh, Axel Anderson's good, but we need an offense defenseman. Okay, this has the potential to have two plus fives. So let's think this through. Derek Grant, is he on here yet? He is not. Please. Beautiful. Alrighty. I want a right-handed player on this point. That's tough. Let's do this. I think we do this. Yeah. Alright. And now... Okay, don't worry. Nickel's not going to be there. It's going to be Drysdale. And then instead of him, we're going to have Cornway. And then, don't worry, these guys aren't going to be here. We're going to switch more around with him. We're going to put uh, Martinuk. I mean, sorry, Svechnikov. And Martinuk on the wings. And yeah, I want Agazini in there. We're going to put Martinuk on the wing. Can Martinuk shoot yet? I mean, one of his shooting categories is crazy. That's good for me, I think. Oh, Gay cannot be up there. I'm sorry. He's not ready yet. Tracy's not going to grow enough in time. I'd rather Grant be in there somewhere. Let's do that. Alright, penalty kill. Tracy fits for whatever reason. Hill fits. Beautiful. Drew fits. I like it. Nickel does not fit. So this is the tough part. I want Anderson to get ice time, so I'm going to leave him in. But I want Drysdale to see if he can... Yeah, okay, I'm good. Alrighty. Uh, let's figure out who fits. Uh, I'm going to start with Grant. He fits. Uh, Josh Williams. Kind of fits. Petrov fits. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, Gru does not fit. We already know that. 
a gazino. Kind of fits. And then... Moran, does he fit? He does. Yeah, that's a plus one. I'd rather be on this line. Alrighty, that's good to me. I like that. Alright, penalty kill. <laughs> Let's hope for the best here. Let's get Derek Grant out there. Let's get uh, Williams, because he kind of fit, right? Yeah, see, see how he fixes that already? And then Nichols is not going to be in there. We're going to put Drysdale. Hopefully that can stay even. Beautiful, and now if I can just get a two-way forward that kind of fits. Gru does not kind of fit. This is tough. <laughs> I can't have it on both. He, he'll be dead. Uh, he fits, kind of. Moran fit. <sighs> I mean, no matter what you do, you're going to get a minus, right? Rather than have the minus, and these guys will be fine. Um, should I just try Gru and just see? Because I mean, if I can get it, no. Okay, so I thought I'd rather Grant just because of the face-off percentages. But I want to see if I can get it. That's amazing. I love this. All right, uh, extras. Let's just leave that for now. That looks fine to me. NHL power plays. Now it's time to really, uh, really fix things here. Getzlav is not on that first pairing, no matter what. Contour can be. Wow, that was quick. That was quick. Don't even need my offensive defenseman on there yet. I don't even have Romanov in yet, but I really want Romanov to get better, so I'm probably going to switch him with Contour. And get Contour going on this pairing, and that's good because... There aren't many power forwards on this team that fit the power play. Like, yeah, he fits. Silverberg, you want Silverberg on there? And then, so we have Silverberg in there. Ferro's already in there. Cash is already in there. Boulay is already in there. Getzlav is not. Steel is not, right? Or is Steel? Yeah, Steel's the first time center. And then, uh, Jones is... It's Jones or Getzlav? I'm thinking Getzlav. But then again, what if I do this? And go with our boy Cam Fowler. Still plus three, that's fine by me. Nikola Hua is a right wing, right handed player, but I'd rather the faster Silverberg be on the point. I didn't know that Nikola Hua was a. I guess he was. He is a right handed player. And then Conto and Berg Bullet. That's perfect. That is beautiful. I like this lineup. Let's see. Uh, let's see what else we can do here. Uh, that's perfectly fine by me on this first pairing. I really want to focus on getting uh, Romanov ice time though, because he, he's the secret to us winning it all, honestly. So Heinen, Terry, Fit, Romanov does not, Manson does not, Lindholm does, and Fowler does. That's a plus five right there. Romanov does not fit, but he kind of does. Manson does not at all. Let's take him out. Uh, we have Larson, who fits. Oh, I don't know why I did it like that. And Mahira, who fits. Be oh my god, this is this is looking really good. Uh, Heinen and uh, Terry are already in. Do we have any other two ways? I don't think so. No, we don't. All right, let's focus on getting people who fit. So Sam Steele, do you fit? You do. Uh, Getzlav, do you fit? You don't. Barry Boulay, do you fit? You do. Easy. Wow, that's that's pretty darn amazing, honestly. I'd rather a plus three on each pairing. Um, all right. Uh. So yeah, what did we do? What did we do? We do this. 
we do this? Wait. If I can get it even though with the better players on. I'll take Romanov out for like Mahura. Yeah. And I'll take Manson out for Larson. Yes. 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 I'm gonna go like that. Just to get the top pairing. Because like odds are you're not gonna be on the three man PK for a whole two minutes, right? That's fine having Getslav out there. I'd rather I'd rather steal. I'd rather Kasha up there. But four on four, you don't really want all forwards, to be honest. Contoa can take face offs. Perot can too, actually. That's beautiful. So Getslav is slow as molasses. I want him for the only reason why you'd want him there. I don't mind this. I'm just gonna switch Manson for uh, Fowler. I don't mind having a defense one in each pairing just because of the EA Sim. I feel like I feel like this is better. But okay, that's really good. And then Steel's fine with Milano. I think I can Milano do faceoffs. No. Contua can. Kasha can not. Perot's fine there. Getslav. Do I switch him for Bure Boulet who can skate? I do. Alrighty, that was easy. Extra attacker. I'm once again I'm gonna <sighs> It's tough for me to not take Getslav because I love I love Getslav in real life, but he uh, in this in this universe man he's being passed. This team is literally perfect. I just want draft picks back for Schwartz and uh for Schwartz and uh, Bobby Ryan. Second and third, second and fourth. Two seconds from Colorado. Second and third. Two seconds from Washington. Not in our division. Not even in our conference. Easy trade to make. Bobby Ryan. Go win a cup with someone else because you don't even want to be here. Second and third. I'm thinking Tampa. I mean, the only place we can meet them is in the cup final, right? So, okay, Jimmy Drysdale needs to grow. He needs to grow, my guy. He needs to grow. <sighs> Alrighty. Uh, man, this... My computer is poop on a stick today. You're unable to follow this user. Yeah, I know. I, I am the user. Alrighty, let's uh, let's do some uh, extension talks. So uh, Sam Steele, what do you want? Three year, four year. Let's do a four year, six point eight. That seems fair. Very Bullet does not want to resign. Three year. Two point. Three sounds fair to me. Troy Terry. Three year, two million. That's fine. Dan Heinen. Three year. One point. Whoops. Three year, one point. Four year. One point six. Fourth liner, but he's perfect. Like he fits everything we want in a fourth liner. Derek Grant's gonna stay just because he boosts that AHL team so well. Um. I'm gonna resign you so I can trade you at the draft. Guru, I'm gonna keep for now. Svechnikov, I actually like in the AHL, so I'm gonna keep him there as well. And even doesn't grow, like he fits that first line so well in the AHL. Um, all right, long term he wants that, but I don't feel like that's an option. Let's do a four-year deal. Take him up till he's 26. See what he is. You know what I mean? That's when we'll see what he is. Oh yeah, Stolarz has to go too. I forgot about Stolarz. I completely forgot about the goalie. Oh my gosh. How many goalies do we have? Well, no one really wants Stolarz. I'm going to propose a trade to a team that has no goalie. Because they're being silly. Like if you have no goalie who can play bad, like if you don't have enough goalies in your system, why would you not take on a free like 79 overall goalie, right? There's not a single team that does. Wow, 
Maybe I shouldn't play with high shot frequency because clearly, oh there you go, New Jersey. You guys need a goalie. Don't even, don't even try to tell me otherwise. Don't even try to tell me otherwise. Where is he? Where is he? Stolars. I'll throw in Hackett. I'm gonna keep Duffy because he's such a high overall already. Yeah, there we go. I don't understand why they don't want a goalie right now. Like, should they not be panicking? Like, they're like, oh, we don't, we don't have a backup. They literally don't have a backup goalie. And here they are saying no. Like, we're not, like, I had to do a seventh to give them a backup goalie. Because they just refuse to want one. Like, it, it just, I don't understand this game. I don't understand this game, bro. Like, the computers are just silly. Like, they're just absent-mindedly silly at this point. When I listen to the trade deadline, I don't usually make any trades at the deadline. I just don't see any point to it. Because, you know, I already built my team, and then, like, if you make a trade at the deadline, it resets all your lines, and it just ruins it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to have to reset my line every time I make a trade at the deadline. Like, both AHL and NHL. Like, I take the time to do it at the beginning of the year. I don't want to do it again, you know? All right, let's see if we can win the cup here. Hot start in the preseason, but, I mean, let's be real. It doesn't mean anything. I've had a team full of, like, 70s win the preseason game, so. doesn't mean anything. Who cares about the scouting? Let's go. I'll try to raid you sometime. Thanks, man. Yo, I really appreciate you uh, joining in here. I don't... <laughs> I, I'm just happy to hang out, you know? Just playing some EA NHL. Man, my team is doing awful, but that's okay. They'll turn it around soon, I'm sure. It's a pleasure to have you here, Billy. Uh, you got any uh, got any advice, or you want to uh, make any recommendations for the team? Maybe what team you want me to do next for a GM mode? Man, we are awful. I'm gonna make some line changes. Um, hello. There we go. Let's make some line changes here. Who's playing bad? Oh, that second line. Everyone. Everyone's playing bad. I blame, uh... Yeah, I blame that pairing. Let's make that change real quick. Let's make that change. Gibson? Gibson? Okay. I'm gonna be straight up. Gibson has been awful. This whole time I've been playing. I'm gonna give him another month and I'm gonna move on from him, I think. He's been awful. But yeah, if anyone has any recommendations for teams they want me to do next after I eventually win the cup with this Anaheim team, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm doing this series where I uh, play each team, give them a cup as quickly as possible. It's kind of like a competition against myself. You know, the fastest team wins, right? So I did a uh, expansion draft uh fantasy i guess not fantasy draft because like it's an expansion draft but like i did a franchise mode with an expansion team and i got, I got a cup by year four or year three or something like that and then so to give you an example like i picked a a legend right or like an mvp that after the series i boost and that way in the next series um in the next series he's boosted on that team so it makes it even harder for me to to win because all the other teams are getting better and better as i complete teams so for example like uh in my last series i did like the guelph gladiators or whatever that's my expansion team and sunny milano put up 31 points in 20 games like he was godly and he grew to an 88 from an 83 it's kind of ridiculous but whatever and um so then i put him on my first line and i sorry i i uh, i made him the mvp so then i i uh, i boosted him and I didn't plan it to do it on purpose to take Anaheim next. Honestly, I was I was just going alphabetical order. I was going to do Anaheim, Arizona, whatever. But uh, yeah, I didn't plan for Sonny Milano to be the MVP. He kind of just he earned it, honestly. Um, but yeah, I lost a viewer while saying that, so I guess I was boring you to death. But I'm just setting, telling you the rules, how I'm playing. Uh, I'm using the EA rosters because uh, reasons. <laughs> I just don't feel like having to redo the rosters over and over again, you know? 
It just doesn't make any sense to, to constantly redo the roster. Anyway, let's keep simming. Let's see if we can turn it around by the trade deadline. This team is playing like poop, but oh well. It's it, They're turning it around. They're, I, I feel like they're going to turn it around here. We're going to get a couple wins in a row. We're going to turn it around, and we're going to make the playoffs. I just... I just I believe in this team. I don't see why we're not winning yet. Maybe my coach is awful. Maybe I'll check out my coaching staff. Cause I, I find coach coaching in this game is over oh yeah. B minus. Oh my god, I don't even have an assistant coach. No wonder why this team's playing like crap. Oh my god. Alright, let me go hire a coach real quick. Oh he's good. Oh he doesn't fit the team though. But here, let me be smart. <laughs> just max out the contract. Make him an assistant coach for his career. Because that's how EA works, bro. You just max out the contract, boost the budget. That's how it works. That's all you gotta do. Gotta love EA. I'm a big follower of uh, Tugi and uh, 2BC. I haven't seen uh, Johnny Superman on lately, though. I missed the guy. He's such a legend. I, I've, I've been watching his videos since I was 12. I'm, I'm 20, tw almost 22, but I'm 21 now. Watched his videos since I was a kid. Loved, well, kid, teenager. Love his videos. He's a, he's a great content creator. Super entertaining guy. Very fun to watch. Um, but, you know, life gets in the way, man. Life gets in the way sometimes. It's tough. It's tough to stay on top of things in uh, in the world, man. I don't blame him for taking hiatuses every now and then. You know, you need a break every now and then, I guess. I don't. I don't know what it's like to be a streamer. I couldn't even begin. I couldn't even begin to try to understand uh, the struggles. You know. Yeah, let's get a let's get a good goalie coach in here. Oh man, this guy's really good. This a uh, teaching. Let's get a good goalie coach for the AHL. I can't believe I messed that up. That's definitely why my team's been losing so many games. I'm probably gonna move on from, from John Gibson before the uh, trade deadline. So he just hasn't gotten it done. And I also want to upgrade on Contois. Although, do I give him a year to develop? Yes, I do. <laughs> I give him that contract. Honestly, I think this is a growth year. As, as I, I remember, I watched the Johnny Superman Toronto Maple Leaf series. This is a growth year, as he would say. But John Gibson's got to go, man. He can't. He, this guy can't make a save. He just can't make a save. He's carried this team for so. I don't know how, how Lukanen is worth so little. They're worth the exact same. How's he playing in Buffalo? Does he? They're probably like, yeah, let's make a goalie swap. Like I, I could see them saying, yeah, you know what? Lukanen's not playing too well. They want a they want a seasoned vet in Gibson. And, and hey, I want a I want a rookie. I want a kid who's gonna grow. I want a kid who's gonna be with this team for years to come. Lukanen's that guy. So there you go. Got a medium elite goalie now. That's kind of stupid. I can just do that. But I mean, Gibson in real life especially is worth so much. Man, Ryan Miller's been poo. Let's trade Ryan Miller to a team that can win. Because we're not looking like a playoff team right now. Let's give Ryan Miller a chance to win a cup here. Let's find a team willing to give up a, uh, a goalie. Man, I love the PS5, man. These menus are so much quicker. Speaking of quick, I'll just take quick off your hands. You guys are gonna, ha you guys are gonna get rid of him. You're not in a playoff spot though. Plus, you're a divisional rival. Montreal not doing very well. Devils, there you go. Yo, I handed you Stolarth. How's he doing? He's awful. I'll give you a better backup. One sec. I'll give him a better backup right now. Although, I'll take Stolarz. I'll give you Miller. But I want some. I want some. I want a sixth. Give me a sixth. You got a deal. Wow. Give me just wow. I get. I handed you Stolarz. Now I want him back, and they're like, nah. We're good. Wow. They think I'm the worst GM ever, but just you wait till I stomp on you in the playoffs because no, I wish I could undo my entire life right now. I press best lines. <laughs> no, that's awful. I have to redo the entire thing. 
this this game man this game it hates absolutely hates me how you guys doing how are you doing 17 goals I like it rookie season man you gotta you gotta you gotta break out you gotta get started I kind of want to put him on that first line just because of his goal scoring capabilities but I need the plus five Oof. How do I not put? How do I not put get slapped though? That's that's the thing. Like, get, how's he been playing this year? Awful. How did he play last year? 81 points. Like, he's a first liner still. I feel, but uh, no, I need growth. I need growth out of Comtois. Uh, man, this is a good. This is a good fourth line. But they're playing awful. I'm willing to make that switch. I would be if it benefited anyone. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's okay. Hey, welcome, uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions for how I can improve it, and uh, and I'm just happy to have you here. Hope you enjoy uh, my rants and my talks about uh, NHL. <laughs> uh, just doing some GM mode, just hanging out, playing, playing, playing with Anaheim here. I'm trying to, I actually pressed best lines, and now I screwed myself into having to edit everything again. So that's fun. Um, so I'm doing that right now. The joy, the joy of line changing. We all know how fun that is, right? <laughs> uh, but just hanging out, playing some NHL, man. Just having a good time. Uh, let's get uh, Silverberg on the power play. I like Fowler. Let's get. Uh, I had two plus fives, I think, at one point. I think that was in. The, I, was, I think that was in. The, that was in the minors, though. So let's see what I can do here. I think I got Ro Hua on there at some point. Yeah, that's a good lineup. Am I forgetting anybody? I don't think so. It's a good lineup. Four man power play. Let's do that for now. Fowler, oh, let's get Romanov. Try to get Romanov to grow this year. Contois, get him that ice time. I want Perot on there too. He's got that slap shot, man. Let's do that penalty kill yeah this is okay this is where the game decides to screw me it puts people who don't fit let's hit Larson in there that's beautiful uh, all right get slab no he doesn't fit let's get Sam Steele and let's get Barry Boule back out there that's beautiful all right Three-man PK. We're going to fix this easily. Mahira. Larson. Switch one of them. Go like that. Easy. Well, actually, I should probably just stack one line. Um, Extras. I'm just going to leave the extras. Should be fine. How's the uh, how's the uh, rookie team doing? Yeah, I, I knew I knew Svechkov wasn't going to grow. That's fine. Oh. Yeah, they're getting smoked. Um, Drysdale's doing well. It's just that second pairing. How's the goalie doing? 19 wins, four, oof, tough year. Tough year for Anaheim, both NHL and AHL. <laughs> Oh well, next year is going to be the year. Don't even worry about it. I thought this year was the year, but hey man, there's always the next year. Let's see uh, Let's see if that coach accepts. Let's hope he does. Keep current trade block. We're not doing the trade deadline. We don't, we don't need to do that shenanigans. We made our trades. 
see any big moves that happen. See if there's any big moves that went down. Matt Dumba. Damn. I just dump on Matt Dumba in this game. Kevin Shattenkirk doesn't fit anywhere. I had him at the beginning of the sim. Got rid of him right away. Didn't fit anything. Yes, there we go. Okay, we got it. We got a good assistant coach and we got a good AHL goal coach. Let's see. Let's see if a complete coaching staff fixes the team, bro. If we can go on a crazy win streak here, that'd be amazing. Big win. Oh. Come on, boys. Bounce back. There we go. Two big wins. Three big wins. That's some time about. That's fine. We're getting points. Two more wins here. Yep. 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 It's okay. Bounce back. That's fine. How are we doing? Are we in a playoff spot right now? Are we actually in a playoff spot? Okay, we're one point back with a game in hand on Calgary. These are two... This is the most important game ever. This game decides who makes the playoffs, who doesn't. Let's go. First period, we're up one. Maxim Contois, first line center, showing up big. Let's go. Second period... Let's freaking go, boys. Let's go. All right. I'm, I believe in this team. We made the playoffs. Caught, we, caught, we caught the league sleeping. We caught the league sleeping. We snuck into those playoffs the crazy month of Fe uh, March. Oh, my gosh. It all started with that win over Minnesota, honestly. Yeah, we lost those next three. But, and then St. Louis, back-to-back, -back, those were two big wins. That's two points. That's one, two wins, three wins in a row, four, five, six, seven, eight games without missing a point. Eight games. Then we lose one in regulation, win two. Lose one, win, lose, win. Oh, that's a bounce back if I've ever seen one. That's a bounce back if I've ever seen one. Here we go. This is where this is where it gets real. This is where it gets real. This is where it, oh St. Louis is like damn we St. Louis gave us life. Yo, we're gonna take advantage of this. We're taking advantage of this. Welcome to the stream. Doing Anaheim Ducks GM mode. Let me know in the comments if there's anybody you want me to trade, any team you want me to do next. Oh man, St. Louis. Oh my gosh, game seven. I know you're not supposed to do the slow sim because you gotta trust the chemistry, but Game seven. How do you not slow sim that? Oh, hot start. Maxim Contois showing up big whenever I slow sim. Let's go. Second period. Again. Okay, two games, two slow sims. Contois, four goals. This guy's on fire. Let's go. Third period. Game seven on the line. First round on the line. This could be the first we go in the playoffs since I started this series. Did a quick rebuild. Let's see if we can't take over here. Let's see if we can't take over here. Come on, boys. Show up big. Show up big. We need a big game here. Shut them down. Get a power play goal and shut this game down. Dang it. Come on, boys. Oh, no. Kill that penalty. Kill that penalty. We got that line. Oh, no. Oh, no. Robert. Oh, thank God. Sonny Milano showed up. Sonny Milano showed up big. Let's go. Let's go. Second round. Here we come. Whew. This is scary. This that was that was a scary series. St. Louis gave us a run for our money there. All right, Winnipeg, you're going down. Winter Peg, you're going down. Wow, we're we're down 3-0. We bounce back. We bounce back every time. We always bounce. Okay, we lost. Well, I was talking a lot of I was talking a lot of nonsense there. Just hoping to get the boys going. I'm just proud we won one series. We won a series. That's all we needed to see. That's growth. Watch next year. Next year, Cup final. You'll see. You'll all see. Colorado won the cup, eh? Damn. Man, St. Louis must be kicking themselves. <laughs> we snuck into the playoffs, and then we we beat them in seven, and then immediately get destroyed by uh by oh excuse me by Winnipeg. Ryan Getzlaff, call it a career, 81 overall. Can't say he he played well for us there at the end. He was such a good player for us. We made the playoff one time with him. Six points in seven games. Showed up. Showed up all the years we had him, man. Guy was a player. Look at this. 94 points in his first season with me as GM. I think we we missed the playoffs somehow. I don't, I don't know. We made the playoffs that year. And then the year after, I did a mini retool. He still has 81 points. 82 games. Stud, and then 
Obviously, we moved on from him. We went with Contois. We went with the young player. But, uh, man, some big names retiring, calling it a career. Let's see goalies. Anybody? Corey Schneider. That's just, that's a given. <sighs> oh, he's a coach. I got to sign him. I got to bring him in. Arizona, Arizona. San Diego. Dang it. Uh, no coaches retired, though. That's fine. Uh, I don't bother with the draft class interviews. doesn't really give you anything. All right, this team, man. This team's on the up. Mark my words. This team's soaring. Next year, cup final. Guarantee it. I guarantee it, cup final. Guarantee it. Romanov's going to be like 86 overall. I guarantee a cup final easily. Let's do this draft real quick. Real quick, we don't we don't need any of these guys. We're about to win the cup. We don't need any of these guys. This series is about to end. Yeah? Oh man. Nailed two of those picks already. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Power forward. Yo. We just. Two year ETA. Getslav. Has been. Replaced. <laughs> it's the second coming of. Get oh. Goal ah, we don't need an elite goal. We already have two. We already have one. Oh no. We have two now. Because of the. Uh, the trade. Three year ETA with a Joe Thornton comparison. I don't know how I passed that up. We're, we're nailing these picks today. Got a low elite, two low elites, two medium, uh, top four, top six players. Oh, it falls off hard now. Grinder, three year ETA, four year ETA. I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go off the board a little bit with the three year ETA guy. That's rough. That's rough. You don't. You don't like to see the low top six grinders. You don't like to see it. Um, what can I do next? Sicola. Dan Hamus comparison, but oh, I'm gonna take him just for fun. <laughs> no way! I think I'm gonna take him for fun. Friggin' nails it. Oh my! I thought I took off the trading block. Oh my gosh! <sighs> Kuda, dump balance, balance block. There's no reason to think Kuda's good, but Regi, I can't. I have nothing on anyone. Maybe I should have signed scouts. Stanford. Oof. Tikkanen. Colburn. Bear Hutton. Balance shoot. Four year. I know nothing on anyone. Lundin's our best bet here, I think. He doesn't fit our scheme, but I'll just trade him with value. 65 overall. That's not even that bad. I don't want to take Bear. <laughs> Just because he has a cool name, Bear Hutton. Grinder again. Uh, you know what? If we get one more grinder in this draft. Oh, high, fr high fringe. I'm taking it. If his potential grows, it's worth it. If I can if I can get another grinder in this draft, though, high key, we'll have a good grinder line, man. A good grinder in the AHL. And uh, our AHL penalty kill will be fixed. I'm going to go with Moran, medium top six forward. Don't see why you don't. Don't see why you don't take that. This is interesting. Get high though. That's weird. That's really weird. Toivonen. Anybody good here in these? 
They all have five year ETAs. Three year. That's intriguing. That's very intriguing. He's awful. Alright, this this is gonna end the draft here. Toyvenin. I'm gonna take Toyvenin. I had my eye on him earlier. I think this ends the draft, right? No, it doesn't. Oh man. I have a lot of draft picks. You might even say I'm a good GM. <laughs> oh man. Should I take Nikolainen? Nelly, Niel, Nelly Kainen, Nelly Kainen. I think I got that. <laughs> oh well, I, was, I think that's not my worst pick of the draft, the Nelly Kainen guy. But uh, that's not so bad. And yes, Billy, I would love a raid. I think I already, I, I no, I already answered Billy a while ago. That'd be awesome though. Really appreciate it. That'd be amazing. I'm just happy to chill, play some EA Sports, man. Just play some GM mode. If anyone wants to tune in and listen in and chat, happy to do so. Any messages? I'll answer them right away. <laughs> um, just resign some scouts here. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna deal with all the scouting. Lazy. That's probably why, though, we're not getting any good scouting. All right, our goalie coaches are... Yes! Oh, wait. Oh, I was so excited. I was like, yes, our NHL head coach got better, but no, our, our associate got better. The head coach is still schnitzels. Alrighty, Sam Steele put up a good playoff. Put up a good playoff for us. Hey, Nicola Hua, I want him back. That's fine by me. Three years, 2.1. Anton Moran, perfect. Oh, I never traded Dano. He can just go. Deloria can go. Agazino can stay. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep Agazino. Why not? Keep him around. Drew was good. He fit the team. Kindop can stay. He fit the team. Erickson can go. Seed can go. Man, I'm trying to go this fast. Stringer can stay. He's got decent potential. Kravchenko, if you're OFD, I'll keep you. You're not. Goodbye. Enema can go. Holy cow, Ramberg. I'll keep you around. You got decent potential. Mensik. Yeah, he's gone. Goalies. Stolars. I want a better backup than Stolars. I'll sign Wallstead, though. Alrighty, let's get this done quickly. So I need to leave soon. So I gotta get going soon. On the stream shortly, I think. I have no idea how to upload this as a video afterwards. I don't think anyone's gonna watch it anyway, because I didn't really start from scratch in the series. But that's okay. That's more just for me. Vickers, is he ready to sign? Not yet. He's still 70 overall. Ferrero, I just drafted. I'll leave these guys uh, to chill. It didn't work very well last year when I signed those guys, so. I'll just leave them. There we go. We got Norman and we got Grice. We're getting everyone. Everyone's back. Let's see if we can get a better coach. I'm tired of uh, looking at a B minus as a head coach. It's just not. It just doesn't work. Not an EA at least. Not an EA. Which I guess is fair. Like you have a bad coach compared to other teams, you're gonna get out coached. But you hope that the chemistry with that coach would you know help that coach be even better but it's not the case sadly uh does anybody fit this team the way i need them to i mean this is intriguing to go after but perot doesn't fit at all but all the defensemen fit that's really tempting jamal finger maybe i'll sign you as an assistant or something Yeah, I'm gonna sign Jamal Finger as an assistant. <sighs> I see Tugi do this all the time, where he just like signs every good coach and just sees how they fit and makes their team better. So let's just see if I can sign on like to a good contract here. Lock him up. He's young too. He's only 50. Let's see if this works. Cause if I can spread around the love of the chemistry on my team, that'd be glorious. I really want Jacob Perot to be a, a superstar though. 
not even gonna lie. Did the kids a shot and a half? It's crazy. All right, I think that's enough money. Where's Getslab? It said he was a coach. There he is. How are you looking, Getsy? He fits all right. Oof, actually not very well. Sorry, buddy. Can't bring Getslab back. He doesn't fit. Oh, that's a lot of A, a scouts. But I don't need scouts. I don't need scouts. Uh, alrighty. So NHL head coach, you're gonna be demoted to goalie coach for now. Yeah, that's fine by me. Uh, alrighty. Free agents. Who? Who's good? Who's not? That's what I thought. All right. Alex Kovalev, all four lines. Oh my God! I'm bringing Obi to the freaking California team. Let's go. Yo, Obi's gonna love California, bro. Look at him, 11 million. He deserves it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this guy. 57 goals, 45 goals, 48. Goals. Yeah, man, he earned it. He earned his money. Um, anyone else want to come play for us? Dumba. I want a defenseman if I'm going to get someone else. Severson. Clefbaum. Nah. No one else really out here. No one else out here that we really want. Mason Shaw. He's alright. Timoshov. Oh yeah, we need, a, we need a better backup goalie. Who's the best backup out there? Cal Peterson? I'll take him. I'll gladly pay him that. Alrighty. Let's move on to next season. Nice. Cal Peterson accepted. Ovechkin accepted. There we go. Oh my goodness. We got Ovi. We got Ovi and we finally have a good backup goalie. So let's hope that uh, Lukanen's able to grow and develop into a stud goalie like John Gibson once was before the series started. And uh, yeah, let's just see how it goes. Man, that was quick. All right, let's edit these lines. Jacob Perot, man. He's got to be on a higher line this year. I'm going to switch to the other coach because he kind of... Ruined the chemistry, I think. Yeah. That is so interesting. Wow. Alrighty. That's weird. I don't like that. No, I'm going to, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't change coaches yet. Team's not ready for it. Um, What do I do? Who do I get rid of? I'm thinking Lefebvre. And then I'm going to put Petrangelo down. Yeah, put Petrangelo down. And then... Put him as the associate. Who has the better stats? I'm going to do that. And then you're the head coach. And then let's... uh. Let's get some goalie coaches. My goal is to keep the NHL goalie coach around for a while. But the AHL goalie coach can stick around for a year and then leave if they so want. Because that way I can move around coaches and stuff. Makes it easier for me. Alrighty. Let's sim a day. 
or two, see if they accept or not, and then see what we want to do. Thank you for accepting, and thank you for accepting. Awesome, that was easy. Alrighty, coaching staff. Is this being saved, by the way? Hmm. Well then. All right. Whatever. It doesn't save, I guess. Let's uh, let's edit these lines real quick. Jacob Perot. Sam Steele. I want Comto up there with. Oh, that's just a fit. Oh, second liner. It doesn't even. Where is he? Jacob Silverberg's an 85. I'm sorry. He has to stay. Oh my gosh. This team. If this team doesn't make the playoffs, the game is lying to you. The, or lying to me. The game is lying to me if they don't make the playoffs this year. Alright, if I can get a really good second line chemistry player to, to like... Oh, thank god. Oh my goodness gracious. That's amazing. Um, Does anyone fit the third line really well? I have no idea what to do. Um, okay, that's fine. I mean, Sam still has been here for so long. And how do I just demote him like that, you know? Well, I mean, they get the plus three without him there. Bray Boulet. I can't not have Di Denton Heinen in here. I can't not have Troy Terry. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, that's my lines for now. Let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, these guys are probably going to be... I want to keep Moran, though. Cause he fits that second line really well. These guys are so close to being a plus five. Um, if I had a power forward that fit that second line really well, then they'd probably get to plus five. Bro, how do I not get Ovechkin a plus five? I, I, I can't. It's time to move on from Cash is so good on every line. Bro, the game's lying to me, man. How do I not do this? How do I have him on the fourth line, though? He's making that much money, too. I can't not have a two, two plus fives, though. How do I not? Especially with Ovechkin. I'd rather Ovechkin be on his off way and they can take shots all day. Yeah. How do I not do that, right? I really want Romanov to get better, man. I really do. I really, really do. All right, well, if Cash is there with Ovechkin, that's fine. Hua can play there. Silverberg can play there. I don't want Jones. I don't want Terry. Is Lundstrom in? Lundstrom is not in. Let's put Lundstrom in. And who else is not in? Jacob Perot. I need Jacob Pearl on that first line too, though. So Cash can go there. Like that. Like that. And then instead of Fowler, what do we get? Uh, they're in, they're in, they're in, they're in. Wait, Silverberg in? Yeah, Silverberg, Cash, and Lennon's are all there. Pashkin's in. Comtois. Comtois is not in, right?
I don't understand how that makes any sense. That's how you get both plus fives. That's what you gotta do, man. Look at this, man. Look at this team. If this team does not win more games than last year, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't even know. Uh, Sam Steele with his pro up there. Pro is not up there. Sam Steele pro. Let's go. PK. Let's get uh, Heinen up there with, uh, with uh, Troy Terry. Easy. Easy as pie. And then let's get uh, let's get our boys. Let's get our boys in there. Let's get Sam Steele in there. Easy. Another plus five. And then this is easy, man. This is easy. Easy stuff. I really like Perot, but I you I mean Troy Terry has to be has to be in there. Let's do that. Um goalies. Yeah. Let me just make sure the four man PK is intelligent. Let's see, that would have been dumb of me. And let's keep them together. There we go, that's smart. Um, alrighty, goalies, that's fine. Scratch, Moran, and Barry Boulay, that's fine. AHL team, it's time for other people to step up now that the big guys are gone. Martinuk, it's actually perfect for the bottom six in the NHL. Let me see if I cannot fit him in there. This is the same coach. It's the same coach. Let's see if I can't fix that. Martinuk. Yeah, exactly. It's, or it's almost the same coach. It's almost the same. Um, Jones doesn't really fit that line. Nor does Perot. Do I take out Jones for Martinuk? Yes or no? The answer's looking like a no. I'm going to say yes. I don't mind having a plus zero on this line. Um, can I get Martinuk on the power play? He's a low elite I want him to grow. No, I cannot. Alright. Let's get Lundestrom back on there. Um... Alrighty, uh, what next, what next, what next? AHL squad, what can I do, what can I do? What can I do for you, AHL? Derek Grant is a better second liner. Agazzini can play second line as well. Sveshnikov's a first liner. We've got two snipers up there. Sam Carrick can do that for now. Gay is best on one of these lines. Stringer is glorious in the fourth. Wood is good on the fourth, with Petrov is not as good on the fourth. Agazzini can play anywhere. How is that not a plus five? Beyond me. It's beyond my grasp of understanding. Kindop, that's fine. Gru, all on the first line for now. Kara can stay there. Who's not in? Who's not in? Everyone's in. Alright, this is the team. So let's figure it out. Power forward down there. There we go. Sam Carrick. It's fine. Josh Williams. Rather him down there. Kindop. There we go. Let's get this line going. Let's get Grant up there. Group. Not ideal for the second line. Petrov either. Either one of you guys play a different line. Would rather Sveshnikov play a different line? Okay, that's fine. And then...
That's fine. That's a good lineup for me. Jamie Drysdale, minor top two. This is his last year before I call him up. I want him to get that plus five with Hill. Uh, Axel Anderson's going to be here. Cornway is going to be on the fourth pairing with Walensky. Drew is going to be there. Walensky, can you play second pairing? You can. Ramberg can play second pairing. Nickel can play any pairing, but I'm going to put Ramberg out. There we go. Special teams. There you go, that's all I wanted to see. I want to get that rookie out there. That's unfortunate. I need a playmaker. There we go. Easy. The rest, I don't really care. I'm just going to leave. I trust the team to get it done, especially when they have an A-plus coach down there. All right, that took way longer than I wanted it to because I need to get going soon. But this should hopefully be the final season of the Anaheim. D oh, wait, no, i got to trade away two players. Antoine Morand. And Barre Boulay. A, ideally an Canadian uh, an Eastern Conference team Philadelphia wants him back or was it uh, yeah I think it was them who had him Morand third and a six from Boston's fine by me alrighty uh, any contracts I want to hand out quickly Silverberg 32 he wants a big contract that's fine though i'll give him this i'll give him the uh, 6.3 he wants i think he's gonna grow again larson happy to resign him he's played so well for us so let's do that sam carrick no, i don't really care Braden tracy though i'll bring back on a cheap contract same with josh williams and lukonan let's go it says he's going to grow. So let's give him two years at 7.2. Let's give him what he wants. I want to see growth. I want to see growth. I want to see growth, man. Here we go. We're in... This is probably going to be the last season I simulate today. Um, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're doing a series where I do every team in the NHL and uh, in the NHL and see which team can I win first with. So, like the quickest with. So, I think this is like year four or five. Uh, so, I mean, Anaheim sadly is not going to be the winner. <laughs> but I don't think anyone would have expected them to be. They're not in a very good spot right now. So, Obviously, when I took over the team, they weren't looking too pretty, so. And there he goes. That's fine. They'll stick around if they like me. If they don't, they'll take off. That's fine by me. I don't want to trade Dan Heinen. I don't know why people keep thinking, oh, that's why. I'm like, why does everyone want, why does everyone think I want to trade Dan Heinen? He's perfect for my team. Plays the fourth line role. Kills penalties. That's what I want. And didn't realize he was on the block. Man, look at that start. Look at that start. 21 and 9, 22 and 9, 23 and 9, 24 and 9. Oh my goodness. It's, what did I say? This team is making progress. That's what I said. That's what I said before the, game, the season started. Maxim Contois on that first line. I guarantee you, 20. I'm calling 28 goals. I'm calling at least 28 goals for Contois. If he's the goal scorer on that line, I'm calling 28 goals. Easily. He should easily break their uh, 28 goals this year. Easily. Come on, boys. Let's keep it up. Man, we're scoring goals. We're scoring goals. That's what you like to see. Look at that. 44 wins. Oh, my gosh. Ovechkin is at 83 points. 
He is killing it. How's Contois? 27 goals. He's one goal away from reaching what I said he would. Yo, OVS, 40 goals already. Already. Oh my gosh. I think Obi's about to have a career year. I think Obi's about to have a career year. At the age of 38, on the line with Nicolas Roy and Isaac Lundestrom. I, he's already down to 84. He's dropping fast. But this is his chance, man. He's making 11 million per year in Anaheim. Just chilling in California, having a good time. 26 goals for Perot. That's crazy. These guys are killing it. These guys are killing it. These guys are killing it. How's our goalie doing? Wow, Cal Peterson's a good backup. Wow, Cal Peterson's a good backup. This team is slaughtering the league. It's not even funny. Like, this is crazy. 44 wins already. Not making any moves at the deadline. We don't. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't even need the deadline, boys. Don't even worry about it. Bo Horvat moved. Damn. They're crazy. They're crazy down there in Vancouver. Or I guess up there in Vancouver. Oh, man. We're just gonna we're just gonna coast to the playoffs. We're already uh we're already in a spot. We're we're already we're already a lock. So let's I mean let's go in strong. Let's just hope win every game to the playoffs here. Let's beat Arizona. Oh, that's tough. Alrighty, let's get a win here. Edmonton. Yo, they're going down. They're going down. These soft Canadian teams, they're going down. Hello, I'm Canadian. <laughs> Come on, McDavid's soft. You gotta take out McDavid when you can. Let's go. Oh, McDavid heard me. <laughs> McDavid heard me. Oh, shit. <laughs> McDavid heard me chirp chirping him. Said, screw you, Mike. Taking you down. Alrighty. Well... I'm going to call it for today. I think that's enough for today. Man, Sonny Milano's a good player. Oh, my gosh. He hasn't had that good of a year in a while, but, man, he killed it this year. Contois, 77 points, 33 goals. He did pretty darn well for himself. Ovechkin, 106 points. That's a career year. I'm saying that's a career year. I'd take one goal and less assist. In one more game and a plus 35 more. That's a career year for me in my books for Obi. He did it more on the 5 on 5 than he ever did before. That's crazy. Oh, wait, no. He has 112 point season right here. What's the sorting? What? Why is that not popping up? That's EA, man. I don't know what you're doing, but it's sketchy. How do we do? He had six points, though. Who blew it? Who blew it? Not our goalie. Who blew it? First line defenseman. We gotta upgrade this line. <sighs> Man, that's tough. Alrighty, well, it was a fun stream. Appreciate everyone who tuned in. I had a good time. Really enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to tune in next time when I hop on next. I'll probably be on tomorrow. Uh, just chilling, having a good time during March break. So thanks for tuning in. See you next time.